Here is a simple solution to all of the world's problems. Practice austerity. If you have an uncomfortable bed, don't change it. Sleep less. If you have many problems to face, don't face them. Think less. If you have a torn shirt, don't replace it. Wear less. If you have a miserable life, don't fix it. Live less. If you have elected Joe Biden as your president, then eat less, spend less, sleep less, think less, and of course, live less. I'm not saying this. USA's two media giants are saying this. And welcome. This is TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. And I'm your host, Atul Mishra. In this video, I will tell you about the shameful cover-up of Biden's economic policy failures by Washington Post and NY Times. Let's begin. What does the data say about the USA's economic health? Here are some facts. These are solid facts and they speak for themselves. Pay close attention to them and picture Biden laughing at you as your eyes read every word of the few lines that follow. US inflation data show that the consumer price index or the CPI rose to 6.2% in October, a 30-year high on a year-on-year -year basis. The numbers were well above analysts' expectations. According to data released last week, the core consumer price index or CPI rose 0.6% in October. The 0.6% monthly core CPI growth is higher than the 0.4% increase that economists predicted. Analysts expected the headline measure would come in at 5.8% over the last year, with core CPI up 4.3% for the year. Fuel prices increased 12.3% in October, up from 3.9% in September. Prices for new vehicles rose by 1.4% in October, while those of used vehicles increased by 2.5%. What does Biden think of the inflation he has birthed? Joe Biden is too old to have sound presidential opinion. It's like he is flowing on a fast-paced river without a life jacket and the boat is simply out of his control. Still, he's smiling and promising others on the boat that he'll fix the problems he created himself. Take, for instance, his take on inflation and the borderline economic crisis that the United States is facing. Too many people remain unsettled about the economy and we all know why. They see higher prices. They go to the store or go online. They can't find what they always want and when they want it. We are tracking these issues and trying to figure out how to tackle them head on. Do you see what Joe Biden did here? He blamed American citizens for, wait for it, panicking because they have no money and the shops have no stocks and the available stocks are simply too damn costly. How's that? This is the lowest at which no American president has ever stooped down to blaming Americans for creating a false sense of inflation. Even while data suggests that it is the Biden administration's ridiculous policies that have caused it, is a direct consequence of the Democrats' control over media and the narrative. Speaking of which, guess what Democrat poodles NYT and Washington Post are saying? The New York Times and the Washington Post have some pro tips for Americans worried about inflation. Stop whining about the economy. It's going to be fine. This is not inflation. This is a phase. Joe Biden will rescue America. For the time being, eat less, spend less, and live an austere life. People need to stop making knee-jerk comparisons. The New York Times went on to say, but people making knee-jerk comparisons with the 1970s and screaming about stagflation are looking at the wrong history. When you look at the right history, it tells you not to panic. And what about the recent inflation data? Oh, that? Worry not. NYT has got that covered too, with a mighty explanation. Here it is. About Wednesday's price report, it looked very much like the classic story of inflation resulting from an overheated economy in which too much money is chasing too few goods. In a piece by the Washington Post, the title itself read, Inflation is manageable. Inflation panic is not. So according to the Washington Post, inflation is not the problem. However, panic related to inflation among Americans is the most fundamental problem plaguing the American society right now. A contributor for New York Times, Sarah Jeong, raised the bar very high. On Twitter, this white-hating bigot said, all the stuff you see about inflation in the news is driven by rich people. 
flipping their shit because their parasitic assets aren't doing as well as they would like and they're scared that unemployment benefits plus stimmy checks plus 15 minimum wage plus labor shortage is why just my thoughts essentially left-leaning democrat friendly media has come to joe biden's rescue once again what an absent-minded Biden said about inflation at Baltimore has been turned into the most powerful defense of the current administration by the mainstream media. They believe that inflation is not real, but panic related to it is. So it's the fault of Americans that they are scared of high prices. The media's will to defend Biden comes at a time when even the man's mentor, Barack Obama, has abandoned him. Obama's team has drilled the Biden administration for not paying heed to its warnings about shoveling an unprecedented amount of spending into an already recovering economy. Now Biden is left all alone with the New York Times and the Washington Post as his only remaining loyalist.